Hey everyone, my name is Richard Pines and right now we are here inside of Webflow and we're going to show you how you can make Lottie work as if it's a full screen, just like how a video would be or how an image would be. And as you can see, we have this homepage that I just created, a very simple sections, and we have Lottie animating a scroll. And the thing is, at, of Lottie right here is actually working as if it was an image. Because usually, this is how it will work. You would have a Lottie animation right here, and it isn't responsive. The first thing that we would do is just change the height to maybe 100%. Okay, maybe it's still not working, so maybe let's try to make it 100VH. So when we do that, the aspect ratio doesn't change. Well, okay, what if we change the aspect ratio right here? There's a ratio. Okay, let's try anamorphic. Okay, it's still a problem. It's not acting as if it's a normal image. So what if we try that in an image? So let's hide this Lottie animation first. Okay, now let's put an image here. And I've created this screenshot right here to prove a point. Um, I'll put 100 VH on this image and we can make it contain cover none scale down. Okay, so it's cover. If we make that responsive, it's covering the whole space. Okay, but with the Lottie animation, if we put this on hidden first so that I could show you the other ones. Okay, so we put that. If we change this into contain cover or anything, it just, it's not working at any cost. So what do, we, what do we do with this? What's the solution? Why is Lottie so wonky when Webflow and Lottie are actually integrated together? Well. This isn't actually a CSS problem. It's more of an attribute problem. So we're going to run through on how we could do this. The way that we can make this work is by just adding this simple attribute first. And I have a tool I'm going to be putting out in the next coming weeks, which essentially kind of puts a full control on how Lottie animations work. But let's start with the very basic attributes first. So you want to copy and paste this, and this is going to be in the description data preserve aspect ratio, okay? And you want to change it to X mid and Y mid slice. And what did that do? Suddenly, our Lottie animation is now responsive. It doesn't matter which size we are on, it's always responsive. So how is this actually functioning? We want to understand why Lottie is not acting as a normal image. So what we have right here is Mozilla's SVG preserve aspect ratio. And what it does is essentially how a Lottie functions is it's not usually, it's, it can be usually edited using ECSS, but it can be edited using attributes because it acts as if it's an SVG. It's not an image file, it's an SVG. What a Lottie file is, is a combination of sequences, just like how an SVG would have paths there is a JSON file that compiles it into a linear way of frames of how an SVG path would be animated. And so basically, the reason why it's not working as an image is because it's not an image. It's an SVG, which can be manipulated through attributes. So to fix your problem, it's a single attribute, data-preserve-aspect-ratio, x mid y mid slice and what this does is it acts as if it's cover now i have a web app that i'm just doing a very simple one essentially this there's a lottie file right here and this is this software isn't out yet there's a lottie file right here and what it does is you could change it as if it's cover and then maybe put it on the left side or the right side and change the anchor point and the attributes here could change and you can easily copy paste it right here. So as you can see, we're using X mid Y mid slice. So it means our anchor point is centered here inside of our Webflow file. Now, if we change this into X min Y mid, we could change that right now. X min Y mid, change this into N our anchor point changed into the left. So you, as you can see, it's now anchored right here. And so that is how you use Lottie to make it responsive on your design. And so what I did here in the homepage, 
is fully responsive on all devices right here and it's scrolling just how we used to so thank you so much i hope you learned a lot in this video i will be putting out a clonable on the description box below i'll also be putting out the tool that i just showed you in the next coming weeks i just need a little bit of time i just built that last weekend just to kind of uh systemize how i do lottie because they do lottie a lot and i'll also be making a tutorial with that said and the link is right here if the video has been posted or in description watch that video and we'll be uncovering more on how we could do the intricacies of how lottie responsiveness would work so again my name is richard pines thanks so much for watching and i will see you guys next time